like mostly mode is not that much use or mode like uh, maximal likelihood is not that much useful like mean is mostly used in some again there can be exceptions always always and then computing derivatives for each yt so we can get derivative of loss with respect to yt for suppose and we can just back propagate to our bidirectional cell that is composed of like base rnn plus lstm then and we can also back propagate to cnn to feature enhancing also for this instance it's something like this and we get all zeros and for particular yt or particular output we will get the component uh, positive or negative non zero component and it's something like this aggregate derivative over mini batch and update the parameters of neural network so that the training happens and then uh, prediction as we have seen decoding techniques maximum we can use or beam search decoding we can do so once the model is ready uh, once the model is ready what i can see is like a model is ready perfect now we have the matrix also we can just feed the image it goes through all those feature enhancing it will get the matrix and what are the techniques we use for prediction and we also have train weights parameters so that the graph will be ready with those parameters so no, tra no training is required because the model is ready now we will do the prediction we will get the text back we can use like the graph the whatever the chart we are getting graph we can use when passing uh, when passing through all those layers in prediction or we have already have the trained scores so based on that also we can use we can just uh, need to relate both actually those things this train thing is actually mostly used for uh, updating the weights so we have the weights and now based on that we will be using prediction if you simply use maximum likelihood we can just use maximal of those particular character in the particular time stamp as a decoding technique uh, in terms of decoding which we have said not the training the maximum like decoding maximal which we have said over here yeah this thing so yeah again like whenever we pass the image we have the weights trained the chart which we have trained now like to auto optimize it using ctc loss optimizer gradient descent all the steps which we have said training decoding cyclic steps so we can use that and we can also construct new uh, chart as the images test images pass through that and then again we can we have weights so it will update and then we will do the prediction using different techniques like uh, maximum likely or different de decoding technique like maximum likelihood thing or beam search decoding so on etc so that was this and so that was a quick summary and all the summary steps which i have shown um, can be same but here just we need to in the matrix we also need to add one more uh, character uh, dash so that this training step which I have said um, so so this thing so these these kind of problems can be avoided like decoding times if you want double if you want like uh, pre-processing when we do for suppose if we do so if you want two jets means if you has dash also so if it alignment is aligned like this then the answer for ground test value if it is this we will get but uh, if the ground test value is this and if you align like this we will get this thing we will not get this so that's why we can have dash also and again repeat all the steps as given in the summary then so again decoding uh, with blanks like with blanks we have little modified techniques we have shown like adding that to the matrix so then like decoding and coding problem will also be solved So yeah, again, that's the thing. We have to feed the image. We have the train parameters and the character versus timestamps matrix is there. Parameters are trained. We will use that. Uh, like we have trained the model, right? We have we will use that and we can uh, to get the output here using decoding techniques like uh, maximum likelihood or beam search encoding, etc. So many more. Or we can just uh, construct a matrix like passing test image before only we have also passed test image we have used the matrix train matrix or we can just uh, construct that using just passing through it and see how and you can use maximum like your beam search going um, etc many more are there passing through ctc layer we will get the output so yeah once passing the test image we have train parameters everything as we have trained our ctc loss function on our entire model and we have also have character versus timestamp matrix we can use that uh, and then pass through ctc and we can get the text using maximum likelihood or beam search decoding anything uh, like hand text to text we can get 
or we will just generate our own again in test image will pass i mean again we will generate a matrix and again we will use uh, trained model with or without using the character versus trained matrix because anyway we have trained parameters in both the cases and then we will trained parameters will be there for everything like once we have trained so all the weights and neural network patterns are trained so then we will uh, pass through the ctc then uh, this module and we will get the output using again first step also in next step also we can use like uh, most likely average again the average those things are used in training so in decoding things decoding technique like maximum likelihood or beam search decoding etc many more we can use to get text so from hand text to text we can do like this two cases or like so like we can do using these two cases mostly so yeah thank you